Hi guys, welcome back. It is so good to see you. In celebration, I think, of the cooler weather that is starting to move in and the drier climate, what do you say we do a straight hair blowout today? You saw that I have curly hair and what I do to enhance those curls, but you know what I'm up against when it comes to making hair straight. And the key with straight hair is getting the ends straight, but getting some nice lift and volume at the root line. There are several techniques to make it happen. I'm doing it with a blow dryer, round brushes, and a couple of products that you've seen on my tutorials before. And I'm gonna throw in a Velcro roller or two. So what do you say we get this party started and bring on the straight hair? So here we are, ready to do the blowout. First thing first, we start with our product. And you might remember I've used these two before. First of all, for volume, I've got my Got To Be Fantastic Mousse by Schwarzkopf. So I'm going to take this, use about yay much. This is gonna give your hair a lot of volume and lift, which I still want when I'm doing a uh, straight hair blowout. I don't like really flat roots, so I like to get some nice volume in the root area. So I concentrate the mousse, really starting at the root, and then I pull it through. After my mousse, I then move on to a product that helps to straighten the hair and get the frizz out. And this is the Biofusion Keratin Silk Smoothing Serum. So I'm gonna take about a pump. It's really all you need. And I'm gonna concentrate this product toward my ends, especially around the front, right in here. That's where most of my curl tends to set in. And I think a lot of you ladies with curly hair, you probably find the front areas and the top especially to be a little more frizzy. So I concentrate that serum in those areas and the ends, trying to avoid my root because this product will um, flatten your root area, which is not what you're looking for. You still wanna get that volume in the root. Now I've got a couple of things. First of all, hair dryer is key for a good blowout. And I do feel that you've got to spend some money on the hair dryer because you need your dryer to give enough heat and enough power to be able to get the hair straight. This particular one is the Elchum. I've used the Super Solano before. Both of them work great. They get very hot and they kick out a lot of air. And that's what you want for a straight, smooth blow dry. This also eliminates the need for a flat iron. And I find the flat iron, while it does get the hair straight, it tends to make it too flat. And I still like to have some bounce to the hair, even when straight. So the key is a good hair dryer. Also, your round brushes. And it's going to depend on the length of your hair as to what you'll use. Even though this is a big one, I still use it for my short hair. Um, but the key to the round brush is you want concentrated tight bristles. You don't want bristles that are far apart. You want them nice and tight because that's what holds onto the hair and gives it the pull. So here we go. I'm going to start by getting some of the dampness out of my hair using my Elchum. And I lift up at my root because I still want to get some volume in the root area. Taking my hair in the opposite direction in which it grows, blowing it forward. All right, that's good enough. So you can see my wave is starting to uh, make its way in. This is when I grab the handy brush and start yanking it straight. For my bang area, I'm going to use my smaller brush right now and pull. And you may have seen this demonstration before, but for bang and especially to get a side swept bang, you take a small brush and you pull forward with a twist. And it's that repetitive motion over and over with the dryer on the brush as you pull. See how I'm continuously going over this area 10 plus times? Because that's what it takes to pull my hair straight. And you may have noticed too that I'm starting here at the top. Um, some people will start in the back and work their way forward. I go the opposite way because I feel that if I start in the back, by the time I get to the front, my curls have already kicked in and it's harder and harder to straighten. So I really tackle the area where I frizz first and then move my way back. Now I'm gonna move on to my larger brush here and start going along my part line. This brush is very easy to grab the hair and to continuously grab and pull, grab and pull without stopping. Here, watch. Now the other technique when you straighten hair is, you see how I'm leaving it rounded in the brush? If you want your ends straight, what you do is you pull the brush toward the ends 
in a straight line and then release like this. And this way I'm still getting volume at my root, but now when I reach my end, I yank it straight. See? And you see how straight that fell? Forward and then straight. See how it falls? I'm holding the dryer at my root and drying it for lift and then straight down to straighten it. And I'm going to work this way all around my head, starting on my part line, taking my hair in the direction that I want it to lay. And I'll just section my hair after I dry a section, move the dry part over, and then tackle the section that's damp. And you may notice I go over certain areas again and again and again, and I just find that extra pull and straightening with the brush and doing it repetitively is what gets the hair to stay straight. So I'm gonna keep on going now. I'm gonna work the back. Again, I'm gonna take my brush, lift it at the crown, because I like volume here. I'm gonna hold it, kick some heat in this area, and then straighten out the ends. And you're really doing a section at a time. Not too thin, not too thick. Just kind of grab a little section, wrap it around your brush, heat your root, and then dry the end. And if you have uh, those mirrors in your bathroom where you've got sort of an extra mirror in the back and you can see the back of your hair, that's an added bonus. <laughs> because of the setup here for the tutorial, I can't, I'm kind of guessing, but I've done this so many times, I think I'm getting the right spots. And if I haven't mentioned this, I know you're probably assuming it, but your blow dryer is on the highest setting possible for heat. Here's a little technique, by the way, if you want your ends really straight, instead of just leaving it under, you can now use your big wide brush and do a little bend out and pull, and it adds an extra straightness to the end. See, now you guys know how curly my hair is, and you see what you can do with a nice hot blow dryer and a big round brush? All in the technique. Okay, so now that my blow dry is done, I can A, leave it as is if I'm happy with it, or I can continue on with my next big magic bullet, the Velcro roller. I love these things. I have used them forever for the sole purpose of getting more volume at the root because that's what a Velcro roller does. So I'll start right about here. And I will pop in my first roller. And again, what I'm trying to do is create lift at the root. So I'm going to hit this area right here with hairspray and warm it with my hair dryer to give it a little extra volume. Same thing in this back area too. And again, the whole purpose, clip it with the metal clip, is to get some root lift. Give another one in the back area. If you have a bob, this is where you like to get your volume is in the crown and a little bit in the back because it really accentuates the angle. So I now have these in place and I'm going to take my hairspray, Kenra volume 25, the gold standard, and I'm going to just hit my roots. Okay, now I'm gonna heat it up. and then let that cool. This is also my opportunity to sort of survey and take a look and see if there are any areas that might need a little more straightening. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, so the rest of my hair is as straight as it's gonna get. And I've got these areas that have now been hit with hairspray, the blow dryer, and I'm letting them cool off as I release my Velcro roller, what I will do sometimes is now take my brush and just to make sure that 
my ends are still straight, I will just hit the ends with the dryer. But this way, I still get lots of lift in the crown. See what it does? See how it just kind of bounces up and hangs there? That's from the hairspray and the heat giving you some ni nice root lift. Okay, and to finish off the look, we go back to this product that I used last time when my hair was curly. This gives really nice volume on the root and it is Living Proof Amp, about that much. Rub it together, but I'm keeping it on my fingertips because I'm going to concentrate this now through the root of my hair, the front and the crown especially. Be right back. And what I'm doing is just shaking it through on my scalp with my fingers and it's just going to give some really nice volume. See what I'm saying? Uh, this stuff is unbelievable by the way. I love this product. Okay, so tons of volume and now don't touch your hair with a brush. This is where you get to be an artist with your fingers and you can piece everything in place. So take it, move it around, determine where you want your part. If you want pieces a little flatter in the front, just take them and, and piece them down into the side. Lift in the back if you're trying to keep that height. And if you're happy with what you've created, grab your hairspray, starting on the bottom, lift, hold down the top, and there you go. Poker straight hair that will defy humidity. You didn't have to use a flat iron, so it's healthier for your hair. You've got root lift, but you've got straightness where you want it. Voila! And it's not even low humidity yet. We're able to do this still in a warm summer climate, but this will last. And then when the humidity drops and it gets cooler, oh my goodness, poker straight for days. It's such a gift. I hope you liked the tutorial and found this very helpful. Again, leave your comments and questions below. If you are looking for more information, everything is written in the description portion of this video. All you have to do is click more and you will see products used and get more information that you're looking for. But again, thank you so much for being with me this week. Please follow me on social media as well as click2houston.com and KPRC Local 2 at 5, 6, and 10. With your straight hair and your sassy attitude, go out there, be bold be blessed and I'll see you in a week. Oh, back. I don't even know what I did to the back. How'd I do? <laughs> Is it okay? <laughs> Mwah!